All right, guys, today I'm gonna show you how to install gutter spouts on the side of your RV. Um, it's very, very simple, very quick, takes maybe it's very, very five simple, minutes. very quick, takes maybe five minutes. Um, so anybody can do this. All you need is a drill, um, the gutter spouts themselves, and some sealant. And so uh, let's get to it. All right, so here's the drip rail. This is the top drip rail um, for the whole unit. And this is the drip rail for this slide out in particular. Some will have a separate drip rail for this uh, slide room because this is where you would attach a slide out awning. There we go. Get that screw out. We'll take this little cap off. And we'll peel this trim back just a little bit. And so right where this screw hole is here, we're going to be putting the rain gutter behind there and then securing it back through that same hole. All right, so let's get our gutter spout here. So you have a left hand and a right hand. This is the right hand and this is the left hand. You see how they go. Um, so right now we're going to put the left hand one on. And right here in this flat part is where that screw is going to go. So you'll slide this back behind here and you may need a screwdriver to pry it away from the wall which it looks like I'm going to and I don't think I can do that with two hands so I'm gonna go ahead and get it pushed back behind this rail right here we'll use a screwdriver to pry this out just a little bit put it back there and then we'll secure it back in all right and after I pried it out all I did was I just shoved that gutter spout back behind this rail and as you can see that plastic tab of the gutter spout comes all the way to about right here so when we screw in here at the old hole, we're gonna go right through that gutter spout and we're gonna hold it in place. So let's go ahead and put our trim back in. Let's push it back down into the track there. And now that that's pushed back in, uh, we will put our cap piece back on, right, line it up with the hole. And then we will put our screw in and we will resecure. You want to straighten that up before you tighten it down all the way. Now that's tightened down, uh, what we'll do is we will go back around with sealant and seal all the way around here. Um, I'm also going to put a little bit of sealant back in here um, just to make sure that no water gets in the little channel behind that rail. So I'm going to go ahead and seal everything up well and uh, show you what it's like when it's done. Alright, and so the sealant that I'm using is Dicor Cap Sealant Non-Sag. That means when you put it on, it's going to hold place. It's not going to want to drip down. Um, and this is clear. Uh, just so you know what the usage is, it is for sealing perimeters of windows, doors, exterior accessories, and exterior corner moldings. So this is what you want to use. It's 351 CSCL-1. And we're going to go right around the corner here right around the edge now the sealant that was on there previously that was kind of caked up i already scraped away most of it um, you see a little bit of residue there but that's not really a big deal um, it has been wiped down with adhesive remover so it's good and tacky and it's going to tack up just fine to the new sealant that i just put on there so once i got the sealant on there spread it down just a little bit with my finger make sure it's all in the crevices and it's sealing that rail. Oh, there we go. And sealing back down in that hole there. And now we have a clear path for water to come down into the gutter and out. All right. And that's all there is to it, guys.